Hello and welcome to part two of my videos about sound in P5JS. Now, I forgot a few things in my previous video that I want to briefly mention. So the first thing I want to mention, and let me just uh, mute this tab here, is that when you're working with sound in P5JS, you want to make sure that you've also got the P5JS sound library referenced in your index.html file. If you're downloading any of my code off the link on GitHub, it will already be there. But what I'm, what I'm talking about here is you want to make sure that in addition to the P5, a reference to the actual P5JS library itself, you have a reference to p5.sound.js and you have that file. Uh, uh, in your directory of JavaScript files that you're using. I'm also using the DOM library for the sliders and that sort of thing. And that leads me to the next thing that I forgot that I want to mention, um, which is there is a highly convenient function in, uh, with, that goes along with the sound file called isPlaying. And the isPlaying function just returns true or false whether the so sound is playing or isn't playing. And this actually comes up a lot. We're actually going to see this in a future video that I have in mind where you have a sound effect that you want to like play over and over again and you don't want it to sound like this. <laughs> so you only want to like restart the playing if it's not already playing. <laughs> and as my camera shuts off just as I'm talking to you. Okay, so um, let me come back over here and let's just, let's add a feature to this. Let's create a button and I'm going to say uh, button equals create button and I'm going to say play. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to also then say button dot mouse pressed uh, uh, play. I'll, whoops, I'll call, um, uh, <laughs> toggle, toggle playing. So I'm going to write a function now where I'm going to toggle whether the sound is playing or not. So I could just say song.play, right? So in this sense, this toggle playing is the callback. Whenever I press the button, the code in here will happen. So in this sense, if I just run this right now, you can hear the song is not playing. But if I click play, do you hear it? I don't hear it. Why is that? Uh, oh, whoops. I'm already playing it here. What's going on here? Uh, let's try this again. Hold on, we're going to make this work. Let's look at the code here. I'm loading the sound. I don't actually really care about the callback so much right now because conceivably by the time I hit the button, it'll be ready to play. Create button play, button mouse press, toggle playing. And when I press that button, I should hear song.play. Now I'm going to just wait to set the volume until here because I think that makes more sense too. Oops, loaded is not defined. So just in case, I'm going to have an empty call. I'm going to just say, I'm going to just log something to the console. Now the song is loaded, and I hit play. I muted my tab. <laughs> I should really like edit this, but you're just going to have to live. It was good. I cleaned up my code a little bit. I muted my tab. Oh, there we go. Yay. Oh, I'm gonna, I think I might have pulled something. <laughs> okay, a little bit old and whatever. Okay, thank you, chat room, for your kind help. Okay, so I muted my tab, but what I want to do is, while it's playing, I want this change to change to pause, and then when I press it, it'll change back to play. Um, okay, so let's go back and here. So what do I want to do here in toggle playing? I want to say if not song is playing, Ooh, we're getting further in the song than we ever have before. So here, now you see, only if it's not playing, play the song. Otherwise, let's try song.pause. And what do I want to do now? I want my button. To say play. When it's playing, I want the button to say pause. So now in addition to whether it's playing or not, playing it or pausing it, I'm going to have, this video by the way is not about jump or add cue. I'll put that in the next video. This is just a follow up video with stopping and starting and is playing. That's, that's what this video is. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit refresh and you can see it says play and I press play 
and we hear the song. It's about to come in. And then I'm getting ready, I'm feeling it. Oh, oh, we're playing, what's that, freeze dance? Do you guys have kids? Is that what it's called? Musical freeze, whatever. <laughs> so you're, 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 you're dancing, you're dancing, you're dancing. Then you have to freeze, and it says play. Okay, so you get the idea. So I can play and pause it. Now, interestingly enough, I used pause because when I play it again, it's gonna pick up from where it last left off. But if I were to change this to stop, and change that to stop also, and hit play. So it's gonna play. Now if I press stop, it's like it's paused, but when I hit play again, it's gonna have gone back to the beginning. So that's a key difference. The stop function stops it from playing, but rewinds back to the beginning, whereas the pause function stops it from playing, but keeps the play at, at a current moment in time. Okay, so I'm gonna let this video end here. We added these features to it of just the play and pause button. That's what this video is, how to add a play and pause button. Um, and in the next video, I'm gonna look at uh, jump and add cue, how to, uh, how to like deal with sort of time in a particular uh, piece of music.